Hi, this is Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. In our flowchart series, we briefly go over systematic approaches for cath lab emergencies. Today, we discuss an algorithm for stent loss uh, taken from our uh, stent stripping video. I've uh, included the link to the full video in the section below. All right, so in this situation, the first thing you need to do is ask yourself if your stent is still on the wire. If the answer is yes, then ask yourself whether you can just deploy the stent where it is. If the answer is also yes, in other words, if your stent is still in a reasonable position and you can get a balloon to cross, then the solution is just to deploy the stent. If your stent is not on the wire, then ask yourself whether you can crush the stent in place. If the answer is yes, then pass a parallel wire, ideally adjacent to the stent, and crush it with a second stent. Passing the wire could be quite tricky, though, especially if the stent is mangled or oriented uh, in a funny way. Your wire might go through the stent struts, but that's actually okay. If that happens, you'll have to dilate the stent cell with a balloon before being able to pass your second stent to crush. What if you can't uh, deploy the stent or crush the stent? Uh, this could happen if your wire, balloon, or equipment uh, can't cross the stent, or if the stent is badly mangled, or if the stent protrudes a lot into the aorta. Or it could be a location issue. You might not want to deploy the stent or crush it in the left main, um, or at a major bifurcation, or in a small branch. When Well, then the next question is to ask yourself whether you can just leave the stent alone. So if your stent is in a small side branch or very far distal, uh, it might be reasonable to just leave it alone and admit the patient to the ICU to get through a uh, controlled infarct. Now, um, if your stent is in a major epicardial vessel, uh, then you can't just leave it alone. If you can't deploy it or crush it, um, then you'll have to retrieve it. Uh, this is usually really hard to do, uh, but there are a few techniques to be aware of. I have another video on stent dislodgement in which I go over how to do these techniques in detail. Uh, but the easiest technique uh, to retrieve a stent uh, is the small balloon technique. Uh, if you still have wire access and can get a small balloon across the stent, then inflate it distal to the stent, and you'll be able to pull the balloon and stent back into your guide as one unit. Another technique is the guide pinning technique. Um, this is useful if your stent is close to the ostium. In this technique, try to sheath part of the stent uh, into your guide or guide liner, then inflate a balloon in the guide next to the stent. Uh, this pins the stent against the wall of the guide, and you'll be able to pull everything out. Uh, if your stent is protruding into the aorta, uh, snaring, uh, usually with a gooseneck, uh, might uh, be a good option. And if your stent is far down the vessel, uh, you might try the wire twirling technique to pull it more upstream. In this technique, uh, you pass multiple wires, uh, generally three or four, uh, through, the, uh, through the stent and twirl them all, all, all together. Once the stent is entangled with the wires, pull everything back. And finally, if uh, retrieval is unsuccessful, uh, you'll need to call for surgical removal. Thank you for watching.